Welcome back, everybody. My name is Zexor. This is part number 20 of Let's Play Broken Sword 2, The Smoking Mirror. Thank you for joining me. Last time, uh, we were with George in the jungle. George, George, George of the jungle. Zexor, stop doing your singing and just do your intro. Right, sorry. Uh, we were with George in the jungle uh, of um, the zombie island near Catch Island. Uh, where I uh, wandered around for a bit, just trying to find out what to do, because there weren't any other things to click. Turns out you just wander through a bunch of paths, a bunch of different screens, They're all the same screen, but different paths in the screen. So one's like, one time you wander up close, and the next time you wander like in the back, and so on. Anyway, wandered a bunch of, through a bunch of those, and finally get to a hill at the top, where there were convenient little holes where the theodolite could set. We set that, and we scanned the surroundings, and we located the... Uh, marker, net, creeper kind of combo thing we'd taken and thrown up on the needle rock. And so uh, we were able to locate that. And if we lined up the theodolite with that, and then there, there was a rock behind it, so that rock behind it is where George is heading to find uh, Ketch's treasure, I think. Uh, and then we go to here, back to here, London. So Nico coming out of the subways ended up here at these docks, apparently, and she's hiding now. And I guess we need to. Figure out how she's going to get past these guys without being seen. Obviously, one's wandering, and Pablo is there. So that's super fantastic. The crate was a good hiding place, but I couldn't stay there forever. Yeah, this is the problem. So she got to figure. We got to figure out how she can. I couldn't open the crate, and I couldn't move it. Of course not. Uh, okay, let's see what she got. This crate. It was risky. But I thought I could get to the next crate unseen. The gangplank crossed a collection of heaving litter. I suppose the Thames was under it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, uh, from I've never actually been. I've never been to England, so I've never seen the Thames in person. But from everything I've heard, the Thames is like the Hudson River in New York, so... <laughs> okay, anyway... Um, she could try for that or go up. See, going up the ladder might be a better move initially. Oh, this is risky, right? It's... A ladder gave access to the cabin's roof. Okay. Uh huh. I guess about the same point when he's about there. It was a porthole to the main cabin. And there's the door to the main cabin, too, I guess. It looked like the door to some sort of utility locker. Metal hooks had been welded onto each side of the door frame. Metal hooks? What, what were the hooks before? Uh, okay. A mop for swabbing the deck stood against the wall. Right. So when he comes over and talks to Pablo, I guess, is when I want to make my move. Sorry, it's winter, so I'm going to end up having... A guard patrolled the deck. He was sure to be armed. It's winter, so I, I get a lot... I'm not actually sick, but even still, I tend to get, like, kind of some sniffles in the winter time. So I apologize if I do that too much. I try when I go through and edit the sound. It was the door to the boat's main cabin. To basically like get that like pull that out of the sound so you don't have to listen to it the whole time. But I can't help it so if if I mean I can. But it's kind of forced to have it because it I get a little stuffy in the winter. So if I sniffle a bunch I apologize. Go up, 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 up. Nobody will see you. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. So made it to the next point, I guess, right? What the? Oh crap! No, no crap! Crap happened. Oh crap! Yeah. The 
guy's killed now. I didn't know why. Why'd you just like stand there? That was that was lame. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Let's rest. <laughs> okay. It was risky, but I thought I could get to the next crate unseen. Go. Okay, let's do this. All the way. Nope, stop, 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 stop. Stop! Oh! Are you kidding? I, I can't click away? So she has to get caught, basically. Ugh, go, go, go. Suck. Oh, darn it. There's, like, no way I can't, like, stop her movement. Once she goes, she goes the whole way. Normally, you can click and then stop and then go back. It doesn't really give you that option, so obviously that's not going to work. Okay. <sighs> okay, yep. I'm crying out. And you can't tell how long he's going to sit there and talk either, right? So... Go up the ladder, up the ladder. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Okay. At least there she's not... freaking getting killed. It looked like the door metal hooks had been... Is he going to get her killed also? I don't know, maybe. The tactical advantage of hiding in there escaped me. Go up then. Go up. Go up. 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 <sighs> With his pacing, it's like, what the heck, dude? Shut him in. Can I? Grab that. I put it there. Oh no, stop, stop, stop. Alright, just grab it. Ah. See, I don't. Maybe that's what I needed to do then. Put the mop on the door. Put the mop on the door. Man, Nico is like taking it. For the team today. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Right. Get over. Right. He comes back around, I go up. Then I go down and I open the door. Then I go up. Go now. Go. Up the ladder, up the ladder, up the ladder. Yeah, because he gets out the door. I was thinking of putting the mop, but then I was like, I don't know. It didn't seem right, but I, that's, I'm sure that's probably what I have to do. So put it on the door so he can't friggin'. Now get up a ladder so he doesn't kill you. And he'll be like, Whoa, what's this door open? Why is the door open? And then you go, Whoosh, you're stuck, buddy. All right, and now do the door. Okay, mop. On the door. Is this the one now? It's like you're getting her killed. On the door. No. Stop, 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 stop. Stop! No! What the? For crying. On the door! No! Uh, and then he kills her! I clicked guard instead of door. I don't want to click the freaking guard with the mop. Why would I want to mop the guard's face? His face isn't dirty. 
His face is clean. He's unkempt, maybe. His dress is all messed up. But his face is clean. Why would I want him off his face? That doesn't make any sense. Why would that even be an option if the door is closed? <sighs> I don't understand. I don't understand why it would just not go on the door instead. It's like 40... It's like Dark Souls Broken Sword. It's like 400 deaths. It's going to progress here, apparently. I'm not trying to do dumb things, but, like, they don't... Once you take a... Like, take an... See how it's, like, great? The mouse cursor is great? I can't undo or back out of what I've done now. So... I grab the mop now. Now go up the stair. Okay, we'll go up the ladder. Either way, go up the ladder. Go up the ladder. Go up the ladder, Nico. Holy crap! It's, she almost died just there again. Okay, go cupboard. Close it. Now, this broom on the cupboard. There we go. Got you. Good. Wait, what? Why? Okay, so she's there. I don't. I'm worried about him, right? So I don't have to read that other one. Let's. Say, uh, in case this is beyond the point of no return, let's do this. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Uh, look in the portal. But the Kola woman was there. They'll know it was me. But you have the stone. The right stone, you're sure? Yes, of course, it's the Jaguar stone. No possible mistake. Here it is. Garzak, please. The police will be looking for me soon. You're going to get me out of the country, aren't you? Stop your whining, Ubier. Do you have any idea what this stone symbolizes? I thought you just wanted it to frighten the natives. Fool. I intend to cast this stone into the sea. But why? It's unique. Exactly. With it gone, the Mayan priest's plan to destroy Tezcatlipoca cannot succeed. I can assure you that Tezcatlipoca is a mythical figure. Such a small mind you live in. Tezcatlipoca is real. I have seen him in my dreams. We have spoken of his plans for this world. We have spoken of your part in these plans. My part? He told me you would be useful. He told me how to crush your spirit by turning you to drugs. My wife died. You know that full well. She was my world, my everything. And now? You are no longer useful. Uh-oh. Saw that coming. She called out your name as she died, you know. What? What are you saying? And then they thought you'd done it. It all worked perfectly. You? It was you? You bastard! You monster! For the love of God, Karzak! Which one? Uh, poor Ubie. Wrong place, wrong time. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. Okay, I guess I gotta be quick, I right? I couldn't just rifle his body without making sure he was really dead. Okay. There were no signs of life, but I checked that Ubier really was beyond help. So he is dead now, right? We were going to need the stone to thwart Karzak. I knew Ubier would have approved. Hopefully you can friggin' not It get was caught. the Jaguar stone, all right. <laughs> knew that was gonna happen.
I can't do anything right, it's just a cutscene. Yep. So. So what the crap and she went in on her own. Okay, so I have to do something else inside there. Wow, this is like, tss, do one th wrong thing and you're basically tss, done. But the color will okay. you have the yes yep. yep. Garzak. Stop your I thought you fool. But what exactly? I can such a right. I have seen we have spoke my pa he told me my wife and now she called up what? And then you for the love which one? She goes in automatically. I get do I just like maybe as a time thing? There were no signs. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we were it... going to need the stone to thwart. It was the Jaguar stone, oh. all right. Doggone it, no. How do I. Here. You. Here. Stab him. Here we go. Okay, there we go. I didn't know I could do anything during the cutscene. After battling through the jungle, George approaches the beach below Pillar Rock. When Pillar Rock, when pirates. I was about to make good my escape when cut. Who the hell are you? Uh, I can explain everything. Don't bother. <laughs> Jeez, I kept getting Nicole Nico killed because I didn't know. <sighs> I'm That's sorry. With blind, I didn't right? realize you were making a movie. So who are you? Stobart, George Stobart. Uh, two B's and two T's. It's okay, Mr. Hawks. He wasn't in the shot. Hawks? This had to be Carlton Hawks, the newest enfant terrible of Tinseltown. I'd read about him. Mailroom boy makes good. Nice to know it was still possible to get to be a director armed with only an encyclopedic knowledge of postal charges. Stay out of the way, surfer boy. I'll deal with you later. Surfer boy? What, you're a surfer, right, George? No? No? Negatory? Okay. Um, well, this is far less dangerous than where uh, Nico was. Jeez. What's the name of the movie? Are you trying to be funny? No. It's Treasure Island. The only book I ever read twice. I don't recall any girls in Treasure Island. Gotta think box office. People like that kind of thing. What other changes have you made to the story? Just a few minor details. You haven't written out Long John Silver. Are you questioning my integrity as an artist? Of course Silver's still in it. We've even hung on to Captain Flint. His parrot. His trained attack falcon. Why do you think Blind Pew's blind? <laughs> Did you say you've changed the ending of the story? That's right. Do they find the treasure? Yeah, but that comes later. After they've escaped the volcanic eruption. A volcano? Sure. Krakatoa. All the millions spent <laughs> on a movie, and nobody thinks to buy an atlas. <laughs> Krakatoa. Not, Krakatoa's not even in the same place. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Who's playing Jim Hawkins? Hi, Q. McEwen. Oh, don't tell me you've never heard of him. I don't go to the movies too often. Jeez. Haiku is only the hottest teen star in Hollywood. That's why we're on such a tight schedule. Gotta film the close-ups before he hits puberty. <laughs> Who's the leading lady? Don't you recognize her? That's Sharon Kowalski. Oh, right. I'd never heard of her. <laughs> of course. Her. You know what the locals call this place, don't you? No, but I guess you're gonna tell me. Zombie Island. Zombies? 
A crazed gleam came into his eye. Uh oh. Get me the writers. Get me makeup. I want zombie pirates in this movie by the end of today. <laughs> He's gonna make you a zombie changer. <laughs> Why don't we just make vampires whose skin twinkles in the sunlight, sparkles in the sunlight, and they're all romantic and... Oh, right, we've done that already, Hollywood. Alright, um... There was nothing else I wanted to ask him. Alright, let's... Hi, I'm George Stobart. My name's Harris. Most people call me Flash. You're the cameraman, right? That's right. Why'd they call you Flash? You used to be a stills photographer? Nope. I decided not to pursue the subject. There was nothing else I wanted to ask the cameraman. <laughs> I decided not to pursue the subject. <laughs> nothing else you want to ask him. Okay, let's... What about this dude? Is he security? Hi, George Stobart. Hello, mate. You're English, right? Blimey, you don't miss much, do you? Bert Savage. Have you seen what the caterers laid on today? Buns and pancakes. That's awful. It's an improvement on yesterday. The buns are stale, but the pancakes are bloody lovely. How long have you been in the movie business? Flipping years, mate. Absolutely flipping years. I was in the army before that. Thought to myself, you've been risking your bleeding neck every day. Why not cash in on it like? So you became a stuntman, just like that? Nah, of course not. I had to do the training first. What training does a stuntman do? First, they told me to stand in the road. Then, they run me down. Straight up. Drove at me with a car. I couldn't believe it. I was up on the bonnet and over the other side before I realized he wasn't stopping. Then they threw me downstairs a bit and gives me a certificate. <laughs> Did you ever work with Carol Climax? The dirty dashend? I'll say. Flipping princess, mate. I heard she was very beautiful. Mind you, she acted like one too. Ordering this, demanding that. I see. Did you ever meet Bertrand Ubié? Meet him? No. I saw him a few times though. He didn't like his wife being in films. Do you think Ubié murdered his wife? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Mind you, there were plenty of people who could have done her in. I thought the public loved her. Yeah. The people who knew her saw the other side. Have you ever seen anything like this before? What's that, mate? Stone axe? No, it's just a piece of polished stone. Very nice, very nice indeed. Shine it up a bit, you get a few bob for that. Alright, is that it then? I had nothing else to add. Okay, uh... The bun was so stale, it felt like a small rock. He's just like shoving food in his pocket. I was already carrying. I didn't want to know. But he's got friggin... It was a stale bun which could easily have passed for a rock. It was a pot of maple syrup. And? It was a plain pancake. Yep. Okay. Camera there. It was a camera mounted on a precarious dolly, or whatever they call them. You wouldn't get me up there. Huh. Okay. Wasn't sure. I'd seen a lot of strange things on this island, but here was a bush that was buzzing. It's not something in the bush, like animal, right? It's probably something on their set, from their set. As I walked towards the bush, it started buzzing angrily. Oh, hi. Okay. So maybe the maple syrup with that for some purpose. I'm not sure what. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead. Uh, this has been the multi death episode for Nico. I, I'm so sorry, Nico. I'm so, so sorry. Okay. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, this has been Let's Play Broken Sword 2 The Smoking Mirror, part number 20. My name is Zexor. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like the vid. If you have anything to tell me, uh, not giving anything away, of course, uh, leave some comments. 
Uh, favorite the video if you want to make out with me sometime. I'll give you my schedule and we'll hook up. Uh, and uh, subscribe if you've not already done so. I do, as you can see probably if you visited any very much of my channel, I do a wide variety of games. Point and click are just one of many different kinds of games uh, that I do. And uh, I will see you in the next part. Thanks everyone for watching. Till next time. Peace.